Wild Horse Village, a gigantic development happening right now in Chesterfield. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what does it look like? What is going on right now at Wild Horse Village? I'm gonna show you. So we're in the car today. I'm gonna take you on a tour with me, talk about a few key points with Wild Horse Village and show you what it looks like right now in July, 2022. So let's get to it. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. So especially if you're considering moving to Wild Horse Village, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. They're laying in a lot of infrastructure and they're laying out the lots for the townhomes and the single family houses. And I'll show you where the condos, the apartments and the office space is gonna go. And by the way, if you're considering building in Wild Horse Village, if you want some help with that, my team and I are licensed realtors, send us an email, send us a text. We would love to represent you. We love these builders at Wild Horse Village and we are already working with our clients on getting them some more information with the houses, the townhomes and the condos here. So if you want some help, let's get in touch and let's work together. All right, I'm driving down Wild Horse Creek Road right now, about to turn into Wild Horse Village. You're not really supposed to use this entrance right here, but I'm gonna go for it because you, you need to see what it looks like. So we're sneaking in the construction way. I'm coming here on a day when they're not working. So luckily I can give you the full scoop, the inside scoop and uh, show you what's going on here. So I am pulling in right here. Now to my left, this is gonna be the townhomes by Fisher right here. So there's gonna be 72 of these attached townhomes. These are gonna be right here on the left as soon as you pull in. So everything right here on the left is gonna be the townhomes and then it's gonna take me up the hill. Like it's not really a hill, but it goes up a little bit in elevation. And then up here is going to be the flats at Wild Horse, which is going to be the 266 luxury apartment building. So right here, you can see those three core elevator towers. That's going to be the flats. So it should be a four story building. So you can see they got levels two, three and four up there, kind of with the cutouts for the elevators. And then right here, all on my right, this is where you're supposed to have four condo buildings that's still under approval by Chesterfield. Looking out right over the reservoir, which is really cool. They're gonna have these luxury waterfront condos. And I'm gonna do a little turnaround right here. This is one of the main entrances. And then Aventura Apartments is basically a brand new apartment building right there. And then Wild Horse Apartments right there across the street. So basically you're gonna have like three of these luxury apartment buildings all within this kind of complex. So I'm just gonna whip out the camera, show you a little bit of what it's looking like so far. I should be using this to film this video, but it is horrible with stability when I drive. So we're going with the iPhone for driving today. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick turnaround, take you back down here. So townhomes are gonna be right here. Those are by Fisher. And then we're gonna have the single family on the other side of that pond with McKelvey, and that's gonna be the 35 luxury single family homes. Now the really cool thing, and it's tough to show you right now, you can kind of get a glimpse of it. The walking trails right here on the right, the walking trails right here on the left. You got that bridge right there, which is gonna look out over the pond, kind of like a viewing site if you want. Um, and they haven't really put them in, but you can see sidewalks going in right here. They're gonna have a bunch of walking trails. And what's really cool is that through the woods right here on my right, you have like this walking trail that goes through there and that actually connects to the subdivision right behind you. Not as new, again, very nice homes and they have some villas over there too, but it's really cool that it, Wild Horse Village is gonna connect right to that neighborhood behind you. You walk through the woods, you got the walking trails. And what's really cool is that you're gonna have the walking trails here, but then you're right next to Central Park. You're right next to the amphitheater, the outdoor space, the ponds, 
all sorts of stuff they do over at Central Park. So you are so in the middle of everything in Chesterfield at Wild Horse Village. Like that's why it's becoming the downtown Chesterfield. You're literally in the middle of everything. Like I'm not even kidding. You're in the middle of Chesterfield. You got the Chesterfield Mall, the Central Park, um, outlet malls, all the new office space, retail space going in right here. Like you are very, very central. You're close to 64. You just got everything going on right here. Public library, YMCA is right here on my right. So this is kind of the back entrance um, onto Burkhart Place. So right here, again, this is just what's gonna be the single family homes by McKelvey right here on my left. And then somewhere right around here, they're gonna have the big 48 unit condo building, which is gonna be beautiful. And it's funny, so on the original video I did for Wild Horse Village, the long, very in-depth discussion, I had one of my viewers ask, you know, hey, what is so special about these condos at Wild Horse Village? Like what's different from other luxury condos being built in Chesterfield? And I said, very genuinely, like not being sarcastic at all, like the fact that they exist is huge because Chesterfield does not have luxury condos. They have older condos, they have a couple villas, couple townhomes, but there is no luxury condo building in Chesterfield. You have that in Clayton, you have that in Kirkwood, and obviously all over the city, Central West End, downtown, but there are no luxury condos in Chesterfield. So I am beyond excited to see how that turns out. Now those five condo buildings are still being reviewed by Chesterfield, but hopefully, you know, once that goes through, I'm really excited to see where they where they end up. Now, what I will say, the group that is designing and marketing these condos did another condo project in Kirkwood that looks very similar. So I don't know how the interior is gonna compare, but I'll show you the pictures to give you a sense of what it might potentially look like. Those ones started in the 800s in Kirkwood. I don't want to say any numbers as far as my guess here because I don't know. I don't I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to mislead. But if they're anything like the ones in Kirkwood, I mean they should be absolutely beautiful. So I'm driving down Chesterfield Parkway right now and Basically all along here, this edge is gonna have your office space, retail, restaurants, more of the commercial space. And then a lot of the residential, the townhomes, houses, and condos are gonna be kind of tucked further in, so it's more inward. Um, further away from Chesterfield Parkway, kind of uh, away from the busy road, if you will. But it's really gonna be a mix of the commercial and the residential space, and that's really what they're going for here. They wanna make it a blend of the live, work, play, entertain, go out to eat, like lifestyle combined in this community. So again, all of this right here on the left is gonna turn into office space and retail space. And then right here actually, right in front of that apartment building, hopefully is gonna be 70 townhomes for rent. So that is also being reviewed by Chesterfield. Hopefully though, we're gonna have those townhomes for rent right here. And then on the other side of the apartment building, the townhomes for purchase by Fisher Homes. So again, I am super excited to see how this turns out. We've already had, you know, a number of you who've watched the videos who are very curious about Wild Horse Village. So trust me, we are super excited. Madison and I have been talking about this a bunch. We are excited to see how this turns out. We've already had a few of you who've watched the videos, very curious. So are we, we're, you know, in constant communication with these builders just because we have um, a decent number of both clients and just friends and family asking like, hey, what's going on? What's up with this project? So we're doing our best to keep you in the loop because I know it's a lot going on. It's a lot of moving parts. And especially when stuff changes as much as it does with new construction, it it gets messy keeping track of the details. So that's what we're here for. So if you want some help with that process, buying in Wild Horse Village, like I said, just shoot us an email, send us a quick text message. Let's get in touch, get on a phone call and um, go over everything, answer your questions and get that ball rolling to get you into Wild Horse Village. I know it might seem early, but we've already had a lot of people very, very curious about these lots for sale. So. Like I said, if we can help you out at all, let's get in touch. But until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you take care. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.